Hey guys, um, I've got an unboxing, and um, this is my first time ordering from actually Dooney.com. Normally, I always order everything um, from I Love Dooney, so um, this I purchased on the 12 Days of Dooney, and I think I got a pretty good buy on it. I think. <laughs> um, this is my first drawstring bag, and I'm really excited. Here's kind of a mess today. I had to wear a headset at work because I answer the phones a lot. And it's it's never a good hair day when you wear a headset. Um, but I went ahead and, you know, cut it open. So let's get to it because I'm really excited. Now this is the um, Kindle. It's the mini Kindle crossbody. And I got her in the color wine. I was wanting, like, to add a Bordeaux color bag uh, to my collection so here she is and this is um, yeah it's called wine Kindle crossbody uh, they had this on sale regularly it's 228 is it coming in 228 and they had it on the 12 days of Dooney for 129 and even I love Dooney had it um, for a hundred and 38 I think so it was still a $10 savings even from that but it's a lot bigger than I was expecting to be mini I'm really excited and I love crossbodies kind of picky on my crossbodies because I'm bigger and I like a really long strap oh she's so soft So, I don't know how much they are now, um, but it looks like they had quite a few of this one if you're interested. If you see that at the bottom. Uh, this was number 362, and they had 825 of these bags. Kind of shaky today, aren't I? I've done nothing but eat crap all day long. She's so cute. She does have the feet on the bottom. For crossbody, you would think they wouldn't have the feet. Seems pretty structured. And it's got the Dooney logo. I prefer it when it has this. I don't know. I don't know why. Probably because I haven't owned another ba bag with other than that. Alright, so let's see how long this strap is going to be. Seems a lot bigger than I was expecting to be. A mini. It's got the little dust bag. It does have the key keeper. Hold on here, guys. Okay, so she opens pretty nice and big. And this is the color wine. The lighting in here is kind of bad. Got that paper there. I don't think it could open any wider. Okay, so let's take a tour, shall we? It does have a zip pocket. And then inside there... Well, you can't see it because I can't open it up any wider. But you can see that it's got the Dooney plate or inside of it. But it doesn't have a slip pocket where the zipper compartment is. Just the zipper. And then on this side, it's got one slip pocket. So to me, it kind of reminds me of my Bitsy bag. Just a little bit. It's nice and deep in there, guys. All right, so let's see how she's gonna lay on the body. It's really, really soft. I'm almost thinking I could use this size of bag as an everyday bag. Okay, so I love it when Dooney comes out with these types of straps. It has two buckles, so you can make it into a shorter bag. Let's see. It looks like it's already adjusted 
Except for this size side, I can probably make it bigger if I needed to. I'll go ahead and just make it the biggest that it is, and then I kind of go from there. So. She lays perfect. And I like how you can, you know, you can leave her unbuckled. Let's see how. She gets pretty tight there. So cute. But the base of the bag is still pretty, pretty big. Let me find my phone here because I thought I could brought my phone in here where I could show you all or tell you all the dimension. Oh, here it is. Okay. She's comfy. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm not very prepared. Okay. So this bag, the Kindle crossbody, is... A little over nine and a half um, wide, it says. Nine and a half high. And then a little more than uh, six and a half in depth, it says. So, that's a pretty good base on that bag to be a mini. I kind of wish that I had... I wish I had like the bigger one to compare with this one, but I didn't know if I'd want a bigger one since I wanted something mini. I know you all can't see it, but I really like it. I think I'm going to change out of this one and put it in here. I'm anxious to see if a wallet will fit. So here she looks like again, guys. This is the mini Kindle. Like I said, it's got the feet. Doesn't have any pockets on the outside or anything. And it does, it, you know, the straps, they are, they're going to be on there for good. I know you all know that I have the mini, like the Bitsy Zip Zip. So I thought for any of you all that have that and might want to compare sizes, here's the Bitsy Zip Zip. And here is this uh, mini Kindle crossbody. Which automatically it's going to be bigger because these, I mean, there's no comparison. <laughs> but I know, Trish, you were wanting to know um, just about how big this Kindle would be. And I, took, and I don't have any other drawstring bags to compare it with other than the Bitsy, which I know that you, um, you know, you just got one of those. Um, I'm just going to see not really how much she holds. But I want to make sure that I can, if, as an everyday bag, I want to make sure that I can hold my wallet. If nothing else, at least hold my wallet because I don't have to change that out. So this is my Sanibel Slim Wallet. And let's just see. I've got her all the way in the very bottom. I could do that. Still close her up and she's... I can shake her. Now, I do not, I don't think, I wouldn't be using my, um, I wouldn't be using this. Let's just see if I can print at least these three, these three things in here. Um, I've been carrying my wristlet, my wallet, my coupon book. Let's just see. Could fit quite a bit more in there. I just stacked them up, stacked them on top of each other, and I could still put more in there. Plus, I could fill the top up. And then, I mean, that's basically all that I have other than my phone. Oh, my checkbook. Now, because it is a smaller bag, I, the zipper compartment it only holds so much. It's only 
this wide, the zipper compartment. It's not like a deep zip. Um, it goes down farther. And then that slip compartment, it reminds me like the zip zip. It's also really short, so it won't hold, you know, my big phone this way. I'm going to have to fit it in this way. Yep. And that's still got plenty of room. So let me just show you how I got my phone sitting in there. Just upright. Because it won't fit any other way. I mean, I like to take care of, like, my phones and things like that. And I put pretty good cases on them because knock on wood somewhere I'm, I don't usually drop them and if I do drop them it's usually like I'm having have it sit on the ledge of the couch and it falls down onto the carpet like that's the worst thing that's really happened but I'm going to change out into this guys I really like it and I'll show you just how short we can make this because on the purse forum I can't think of her name right now because I'm on the spot. She's got a couple of these and she prefers to have hers on the shortest strap that you can make it and she just uses it for like this which is really cute and even on the shortest yeah even on the shortest I could still put it over my arm so it's still a pretty good length and I've got it left open to just have like one big bucket bag it's cute and I'll just make it the longest that I can on this one just to give you guys another idea I'm a bigger girl so I like to have a good strap length and that's really comfortable there too I like that I can I feel like I could use this as an everyday bag I like that and it's good it's a structured bag and this I mean it's kind of hard but I still it still feels really soft yeah what do y'all think <laughs> I really like it and I got this um, on the 12 days of Dooney this is the color wine um, and I don't have any uh, color bag um, in my collection, so I really wanted to add add her. I'm going to go ahead and switch out into her. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.